Welcome back to Oshkosh Today, and now we're here at the Oshkosh Public Library down in the children's section, and I'm here with Lisa Voss with Library Development here at the Oshkosh Public Library. So thanks so much for having us out here today, Lisa. Thanks for coming over. And today we kind of want to talk a little bit about the summer reading program for kids. So first of all, if you just want to tell us what exactly is the summer reading program? Well, the summer reading program, we have them actually for children, teens, and adults. So we <laughs> want everybody to get in on this. Um, it's pretty much consumes our summer here, and the focus is really on reading. Um, one of the primary um, elements of the program is that you read. We want kids, especially teens, to read at least 20 minutes a day because it really helps them to keep up their reading skills. Um, so part of the incentive with that is that we offer little prizes. Um, we have a, a show at the end of the summer that the, the kids can earn a ticket to by reading at least two weeks. And then we, we have a good percentage of kids that read then throughout the entire summer. And it prevents what's called summer slide, mm -hmm. um, which educators all and librarians all know about. And that is really a loss of reading skills. We want these kids to be ready to learn when they get back to school in the fall. And coming to the library and participating in our programs and just reading mm -hmm. um, on its own is going to help with that. So. Kind of keeping that you know momentum going after school. Really, a bit. Right you know you don't want to as I said you don't want to lose that so right. this is an easy and fun way to do it. Oh yes and there's actually there's a lot of fun incentives for them too. I know you said it's they can have a chance to win a ticket to a show. What kind of show is at the end here? Uh, we're bringing in um, Stuart Stotts and Tom Pease which if you have children or have ever had children you know who they are. They're sort of the rock stars of children's entertainment Aww. especially here in Wisconsin <laughs> and they put on a great show together and we're doing that at the Grand Opera House at the end of the summer. So mm -hmm. come in, sign up for the program, and then you, you track your reading basically, and all ages do that. And you come in, you show the staff your reading log, and you get your prizes as you go along. Excellent. And what other kinds of things, um, what other kind of prizes as you go? I mean, for even if they've already happened this summer, for next summer, and different kinds of things you can work towards? Well, you can earn things all all along the way during the summer. So you might get a free book one at one p point in the oh, okay. in the summer. You might get a, a ticket for, you know, something from the Timber Rattlers. We have all oh. different, you know, Hardee's. We have all different sorts of uh, wonderful local businesses that donate to this program. Wow. The teens and adults tend to get, it's uh, more, the books, or you might get a t-shirt or a gift certificate for a local business, so Excellent. it really is kind of fun. Yeah, and I think it's really cool that it's not only kids, so if you are if you have a child and your child's in the summer reading program, you can read right along with them and kind That's of be a part right. of that. And it's good role modeling. Oh yeah. I mean, and if you're going to read anyway, why not get a prize for it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and there are um, some discovery tables. Uh, what can you tell us about those? Well, uh, we have a science theme, especially for the kids and the uh, teens this year. Uh, it's Fizz Boom Read. Yes. for the kids and then spark a reaction for the teens and um, for the, the younger kids we have some discovery tables that we've set up and each week is sort of a different theme it's in the afternoon from about 1 30 to 3 30 the kids can just come in and do a little hands-on exploration uh, we have you know mazes that show them how gravity works we have um, different uh, rocks and fossil sorts of activities. Um, we have a little skeleton with the, of the human body where all the internal organs actually come out and then the kids have to identify what, you know, is this a liver? Is this your heart? Is, you know, <laughs> those sorts of things. So it really oh does teach the kids something in a really fun way. Yes, I think I hear one over there in the corner too. Yes, I hear marbles, marbles rolling, <laughs> rolling around in the maze and the kids can help, you know, they're helping to build it yeah. and, and we have volunteers here to show them then books if they really get interested in something they when they leave here they want to learn more they can check out a couple of books to mm -hmm. help them with that kind of take a little break from their reading and kind of you know right <laughs> get right. some of their energy out on those exactly. discovery tables um, and there's still time to t sign up if you are still interested um, you can sign up as you know throughout the program how do you do that right you can come to the library and sign up we have volunteers here to help help you sign up or um, you can go to oshkoshpubliclibrary.org and sign up online. Excellent. And there are some other programs to look forward to outside of the reading program. What can you uh, tell us about that? I know um, a lot of your programs are sponsored by your friends group, actually. Yes, the Friends of the Library um, provide a lot of funding for a summer reading program. We really couldn't do it you know, with just our regular budget and do the caliber of program that we do, right. so we're very thankful to them. Um, so we've got you know music programs for the kids. We've got the teens have some really fun. They have a con costume contest and trivia contest a okay. with a science fiction theme. Um, they're doing some fun things where you can come and watch a 
a movie based on a book like the Book Thief or the Hunger Games, and then you can win the DVD. Oh, very cool. Um, you know, beyond the summer reading program, we also have, you know, used book sales during the summer. We have some, you know, it, again, if you go to our events calendar, you can see um, it's packed full with something Lots. for just about anybody. There's something almost every week that you can yes. look forward to. So yes. it's Fourth just of July week. We're taking a Quiet little bit down. of a break there because people are gone, but um, right after that, we start right back up again. Yes. And um, in August, we'll have mostly some movies as things wind down, people go on vacation more, but mm -hmm. um, right now we've got tons going, on, going so. on. And even, you know, outside of all of these things going on, we were upstairs, you know, five minutes ago, it's busy up there. You know, people are coming in and out, and I think summer really is a big time for people to actually have the time, the extra time to read, so. I think it is, and you know, if you're sitting on the patio, sitting by the pool, people go on vacation, you know, if you have your tablet or your Kindle, download some eBooks to take with you. Um, um, you can download eBooks and um, audiobooks also from our website, so it's okay. really, um, it, it's handy for people who do everything on their iPad or mm -hmm. whatever tablet they have or their Kindle. Um, you know, it gets expensive to constantly be buying books just like it does you know, with a regular book, so oh, you yeah. can throw in some of those free ebooks there, and mm -hmm. um, it makes it you know easy for folks. And you don't need any special card or anything like that to. You just to need be a library to... card, okay. and we do have instructions on our website. And um, if you have any issues with it and are having a problem, you can always call the library yes. or or stop um, in. The staff is always very helpful around here, so yes. that's always something that's great to have. Um, so we're almost just about out of time here. If you want to, if there's anything else you wanted to mention for this summer here at the library. Um, one of the things that we've done over the past few years is we have free bus rides to the library on Go Transit buses. Um, they've been a great partner with that. And if you get on the bus, show your library card, a child or a teenager. Mm -hmm. And then when you get here, you get a free pass to oh, go yeah. back home. So it makes it easier for kids who maybe can't get a ride to the library to get here and spend some time. Definitely. Very great. Well, thank you so much for having us out here. And I know it's very busy, so we'll let you guys get back well, to thank work. thank you. <laughs> Good luck <laughs> this summer, Lisa. Thanks, Emily. Thanks again for joining us on Oshkosh Today. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more right after this.